Hello, I'm Susanna Ross. I was a broadcast journalist for many years and I now specialise in web writing. I work with Clarity, the writing experts. To check your grammar, you need to know your parts of speech. That's the role that each word plays in a sentence. So practice breaking down a sentence into its component parts. Look for the nouns. Those are the things, uh, they're the names of people, of places, of things and ideas. See which are the nouns. Nouns are things, places, people, ideas. It's quite easy to test whether something is a thing. Can you put a or the in front of it? So you might say a man, the car. Then if it's a name, a proper noun, it'll be just that, Charlie or London. So if you look at this sentence, we've picked out the nouns. So man, car and London are the nouns in this sentence. Then pick out the verb. The verb is a word that conveys action or being. And you can test by seeing whether you can do whatever it is. You can't car, but you can drive. So car is a noun, not a verb, and drive is a verb. So in the sentence, the man drives a car, drives is the verb. And in the sentence, Charlie is a lawyer, is is the verb. But remember, we're talking about function, not meaning. So in a different sentence, drive could be a noun, as in she walked up the drive. Then look for the descriptive words, the adjectives and adverbs. Adjectives add meaning to nouns and adverbs add meaning to verbs. So in this sentence, new is an adjective adding meaning to car and slowly is an adverb adding meaning, telling you more about how he drives. Lastly, you have linking words, prepositions and conjunctions. So when is a conjunction and in is a preposition. I'd say the great thing about grammar is that you can always look it up. A good dictionary will tell you what part of speech a word is. It'll give you examples of how it can be used differently in different sentences. So don't worry about it, just practice. Give yourself little exercises. Say, for example, one day, I'm going to go through my emails and list 10 nouns that I've used. Or tomorrow, I'm going to see if I can delete 10 adjectives from the emails that I've written. And don't be put off by people who correct you or tell you you've done something wrong. Say thank you and go and look it up. And you may find they don't know quite as much as they think they do.